Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about tire pressures. Now, during the 2022 season, a specific reporter reported that Ducati were breaching the minimum tire pressure regulation and therefore were cheating. Now, what this reporter forgot to mention was that in the previous race, Yamaha found themselves in the exact same position, and also that there was not, in fact, a regulation about minimum tire pressure. There was an agreement that teams would stick to the minimum tire pressure advice that Michelin had given them. But what we found out from racing was that there is times during the race where your tire pressures actually drop. So for the 2023 season, what Dorna and the FIM have done was that they've got a single manufacturer, i.e. McLaren, to make and deliver software and the hardware that these pressures can now be monitored. It is part of the regulations and there will be sanctions if a rider is in breach of those regulations. But let's be fair with it. It is a very, very hard thing to govern and a very, very hard thing to predict. Your tire pressures are affected by many, many things during the race. If you do a slow lap, if you run wide, how heavy you are, you know, it's not a simple thing of that. I'm putting two liters of, of petrol into the tank. It's just not like that. So what Dorna, the MSMA and the teams are going to do is that for the first three races, they're going to let it go and see where the, how would I say, the ball lands, you know, how well can they regulate this? After three races, then they're going to decide whether or not or when they will start imposing sanctions on riders for being in breach of the regulations. Now, for me, I hope it's a good opportunity for them to look at what they're currently planning to do and maybe kind of change it into a way of that it's a percentage rather than to you know you're under this pressure for x amount of time and what i mean by that is that you know anything as i mentioned earlier can affect your tire pressure so what i would suggest or what i would hope that they would probably look at is that they would give a plus or minus percentage of your starting tire pressure so if, for example, I took off on the grid, the track is dry, but the grass is wet, and I run through the grass, my tires cool down, my pressure drops, you know, for five or six laps, it'll probably take me to build up that pressure again. So therefore, within the race, I would be outside of, of the parameters. Yes, there is a reason and an excuse, so maybe that might come into it, but again, that is bringing gray areas into it. Do you know what I mean? That's a judgment fact where, again, if you started on just say 10 PSI, do you know what I mean? You can drop one, do you know what I mean? Or you can go plus one. And that way there's an operating window. I am all for Michelin giving a minimum tire pressure that needs to be respected. They are a safe working <laughs> tire, so they need to be putting that in there. But again, you know, I am just don't want it all one, everyone tired with the one brush, let's just call it. I do think that it should be within an operating window according to each individual rider's style or size or how the bike is. So if you start at 10 PSI, you have a plus or minus 10% or just say for instance, either way. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. How do you think this is going to work out? How do you think it will be governed? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.